painting looks good enough to eat. Say... So does this. Two apples missing. Check. Thirteen grapes gone. Check. And one banana. Check. Oh, this is just delicious. So sweet and juicy. Like my love for Todd. Nice and crunchy, but I could do without the seeds. Those aren't seeds, Mrs. Jules. Those are my eyes. Aren't they honest and trustworthy? Perhaps even presidential. They kind of look like seeds. Really? Maybe we just need some more light in this classroom. Now, how can we get more light in here? Just turn on the light switch. The what? The light switch. The who witch? <sighs> still doesn't get it. Myron wants to be class president, but the class president's only duty is to turn the lights on and off. Ah! Lightning indoors! Make it stop! Oh, maybe we just better clean up instead. That sounds like a perfect job for the class president. Hey! Myron, please be careful with that paint. Lewis just installed new grass in the hallway. I didn't do it. You didn't? Hmm. Then who did? If I take the fall for this, they'll never make me class president. But who can I blame? Who? Myron. I'm waiting. It was... it was... uh... I cannot tell a lie. It was my twin brother, Normie. I'll go get him for you. Ooh, I need a costume and fast! Aha! Mrs. Jules, it is I, Normie. Normie? Yes, my brother Myron convinced me to confess to my misdeed. Now, please, punish me and let my noble and virtuous brother Myron prosper like the great leader he is. Normie, you're like a breath of fresh air. He's a what? You simply have to meet the rest of the class. <gasps> but, but what about Myron? Oh, don't worry about him. Class? I'd like you to meet Myron's twin brother, Normie! Hello! I'm sure you're all worried about my brother. I'll go find him. Myron never mentioned a twin brother before. That's because we're... Uh, hey! One of your skates is untied. Why, thank you. Safety first. That's Myron's motto. You don't look anything like Myron. Oh, Mom always says that Myron got the brains and the looks. <laughs> really? I think you're kind of sweet. And cute! <laughs> Myron. Oh, no. I'm not Myron. I'm Normie. Here, let me help you back to sleep. Walk up ice ring on the school top. I'll sleep on the desk. ahead will help pop. Oh, how sweet. He helps Sharif fall back asleep. Now she can do her best learning. Normie, you're great! Sit beside me! No, sit beside me! No, sit beside me! Normie! Sit here! Normie, here! Normie, here! Oh, sit next to me, Normie! Uh, sit beside me! Why don't I just sit at Myron's desk? I know my brother won't mind. Normie, you've got to be kidding me! Myron, what are you doing? Huh? Oh! Uh, Myron was just trying to stay out of trouble. Myron's going to get in more trouble when Mrs. Jules finds out. I mean, you are, not him. Because he's you. You're Myron. But look how popular Normie is. I always wanted to be as popular as him, even if it is just for a little while. How long is a little while? How about till graduation? Okay, fine. How about I stay Normie until after lunch? Then I'll change back.
That was the best lunch ever. Yes, and now it's over, Normie. It's 1 p.m. Remember your promise? I've never welched on a promise. <gasps> never. <gasps> Did you see that? I don't believe it. Normie, your twin brother Myron has been trying to do that for years. In fact, he couldn't even say the name of that thing. Normie, you should be our new class president. Yeah! Normie from class! Normie! 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 I mean, Myron, I know that look. I've seen it before. President? Yes, that would be nice. Normie! 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 Yay! Normie! 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 Oh, you're all so kind. And I really don't want to disappoint anyone. So, I'll do it. Yay! What a wonderful idea. We'll make him class president right now. Unless anyone wants to run against Normie. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jules, I'd like to nominate someone for class president. Who? Myra. What are you doing? I am this close to becoming class president. Yeah, but you're lying to everyone. You're lying to me and you're lying to yourself. That's a bad thing? Sorry, but you promised to bring Myron back. I'm just helping you out. No, Normie says Myron's not interested. Oh, really? Well, there's one thing I know Myron can never resist, and that's a class election. So let the debate begin. <laughs> debate? But how do I debate myself? I mean, Myron, I mean, what are we doing? I don't know but you could always just tell everyone the truth. Yay! Okay, quiet down, class. Quiet down. Normie, would you like to begin the debate with an opening statement? Yes, I would. May the best man win. Yay! And now, his opponent, Myron. All I have to say is, the best man is me! Hooray! Now, first question, Myron. What is the class president's most important duty? An excellent question. Everyone knows it's the class president's responsibility to, uh, turn on the... to ensure the... guarantee the... Oh! The class president keeps the ceiling from falling down. Normie, same question. Normie? Normie! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Thank you, Mrs. Jules. What are the duties of the class president? For me, I just love to help my classmates. Like this. <laughs> Normie, why don't you show us the only real duty of the class president? Why, of course. The class president, he... He, uh... Does the... Uh... Keeps the ceiling from falling down. Ah, uh, you win. <gasps> Myron? Where's Normie? There is no Normie. I am Normie. He is me. We just put on goggles and reversed my name. Myron, this is quite a surprise. You had us all fooled. Yeah, but that's okay. Since I'm actually both candidates for class president, that means I win, right? I guess you guys are pretty mad. Don't worry, Myron. I really like Normie, but I still like you. Especially the Normie parts of you. I hope you learned a lesson from this. I sure did. And that lesson is, don't count your chickens before they win. No, I think the lesson is more like, it's better to be yourself. No, that's not it. How about, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. It's better to just be yourself. A penny saved is a penny won? No, be yourself. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him win. Not quite. All good stories must come to a winning end? Um, no, not that either. Are you ready for the aquarium field trip? 
The aquarium? Really? Sounds fun. But Mrs. Jules, I don't have any swimming gear, and I'm not sure why I'd need it at an aquarium anyway. Don't worry, Todd. We have extra diving suits. All you really need is your permission slip. What permission slip? The ones I distributed yesterday after I sent you home on the kindergarten bus. Don't tell me you don't have yours. No, I don't. Can I run home and get one signed before the bus leaves for the aquarium? Bus? <laughs> on a wayside field trip, students don't go to the aquarium. The aquarium comes to us. Okay, Lewis. Send in the fish. You got it, Mrs. J. Hmm, let's see. Dinosaurs, solar system. Ah, aquarium. Cool. We're going to be inside an aquarium? No, Todd. We are going to be inside an aquarium. You are going to be inside a dinghy where all the kids go who don't have a permission slip. Ready for the most amazing day ever, class. Yay! Todd, you look so lonely all alone in that lonely raft. Wouldn't it be nice to have some company? Um, I'll be okay. Avert your eyes, Todd. No incredible undersea adventure for you. You don't have a permission slip, remember? Oh, no. I don't have a permission slip either, Mrs. Jules. Yes, you do, Mauricia. I just saw it in your hand. What happened? Um, I accidentally ate it. Oh, dear. Well, you shouldn't go in the water right after eating. I'm afraid you'll have to spend the day in the dinghy with Todd. No. Oh, Todd. What will we ever do? Just the two of us trapped together in the middle of nowhere. We're not exactly in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of Mrs. Jewel's class, in a lifeboat. This isn't a lifeboat, it's a love boat. Why don't we hold hands Ow. and drop anchor over by that romantic private island? First of all, that's not an island. It's a filing cabinet. And secondly, holding hands is death. Shh, don't speak, Mon Capitan. The whales are serenading us. Field trip days, and no kid day, and no kid days, a field trip day, a field trip days, and no kid day, and that is a okay. And those special fish I ordered should keep the 30th floor busy while I take my own field trip. Hmm. This aquarium thing is boring. How can you say that? We're exploring a rich ecosystem. Weren't you impressed by the seaweed growing on the rubber boot rack? Meh. All right. I was going to save the good stuff for later, but let's explore the dangers of the deep. Hold on to your helmet, Myron. Ooh. It says here that these pink periwinkle clams can open their mouths once every 103 years. Isn't that exciting? Boring. This is a gray fish. Did you know there are only 256 different kinds of gray fish? Wouldn't it be fun to count them all? Boring. Wow, a sea sponge. These wild fellas never, ever move. Let's watch. Boring. Myron, you're upsetting the ecosystem. I want to see a shark. Todd, can we hold hands now, huh? No. Oh. Then can you do me a favor and hand me that paddle? 
That's not a paddle. That's your hand. Oh, is it? Uh, silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me that rope instead? That's not a rope. That's your hand. Oh, is it? Silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me my hand? That's not your hand. It's your hand. Major goo, white dove, must be love, stamp it, lock it, no erases. Oh, Todd, you sent me a message in a bottle? How romantic. S-O-S. -S. What's that, Todd? Some kind of secret love code? Actually, it's an international distress signal used by sailors. Oh, I get it. S-O-S, -S, as in sweet on schoolmate. You really are a true romantic, Todd. Look, Myron. It's called a sea sludge, and it lives in gravel at the bottom of the ocean, where it eats gravel. That's so neat. Ugh. When are we going to see something really cool? Hey, how about... Hello, guppies? They shouldn't be in here. Hmm, I remember reading something about those fish. Oh, I remember. They're boring. No, that's not it. Sorry, guy. If you're looking to bore me, you're a little late. That's it. Now I remember. Run! Ah! Oh, no. What do we do? We're being attacked by glue guppies! This wasn't in the job description. Well, Mrs. Bools. That's Jules. You certainly have the credentials, Mrs. Drools. Jules. But, Mrs. Mules, do you know how to handle an attack of glue guppies? Hmm, I guess it was in the job description. Now, what was that drill? Oh, right, same as the swamp creature drill. Run away! Oh, I mean, swim away! Ah! This never would have happened if we just swam with the sharks. Ah! Look, Mauricia, we need to help. Ah! What? They look like they're having the time of their lives. I know I am. Want to hold hands yet? No. Mrs. Jules, can we help? You don't have a permission slip, Todd. That means you don't have permission to help us. Somebody else, help us! A permission slip. Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. Help is on the way. <laughs> Mauricia, uh, can you help me a second? I need to reach that permission slip. You can have my permission slip if you want. Uh, no thanks. I just need to lean out and grab that slip. So, could you... Would you... Hold my hand? <gasps> Hold your hand? Why didn't you say so? I would love to. Time to flip. Hey, where'd the sun go? Nice glow guppies. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Todd, how sweet. Even after all that, we're still holding hands. Oh, I just want this moment to last forever, Todd. It feels like I'm giving you goosebumps on your hand. Mauricia? Ah! Well, Todd, thank you for saving the class, and I'm glad you finally found your permission slip. It's not signed. I can't accept this. 
You didn't have permission to save us, and for that, I'm sending you home early on the kindergarten bus. But technically, I didn't save the class. I was just trying to get away from Mauricia. Ready when you are, Mon Capitan. Sorry, Todd, but you'll just have to accept that you're the biggest hero in the history of Wayside and take your punishment for it like the troublemaker you are. Swamp creature drill. And I remember this one. Run! Field trip day, field trip day. Oh, how I hate field trip day. Ouch! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,